Ladies and gentlemen, surprise, surprise, what do we have here? The Washington Free Beacon, Rhode Island Democratic Senator arrested for keying car with our current president, Stinks, bumper sticker. Could you imagine? I mean, we've had Democrats in Nevada, Arizona, commit, like, end people's lives, commit the most heinous atrocities, be arrested for that and indicted. Not a word from media. This pales in comparison to what took place in Nevada and what took place, there was a Democratic candidate who ended the life, uh, allegedly, of a reporter. And in Arizona, there was a Democratic senator that committed the most atrocious criminal activity according to the indictment. The most atrocious you could think of. Not a word from the ladies at The View or mainstream or Washington Post, barely a word, not if, if a mention at all. It's all about Trump's legion of chaotic um, followers. And then you look, Democrats are getting indicted all throughout the country for financial crimes, for crimes pertaining to their campaigns. That's happening all the time. At a, at a higher rate of frequency than with Republicans. But I mean, the Repu- I'm not, I don't really care Republican, Democrat. I like Trump because we had record low poverty, record highs in household median income with Trump in 2019. There's literally zero rebuttal for that from the left. But anyway, Washington Free Beacon, Rhode Island Democrat arrested for keying car with, with uh, president, current president stinks bumper sticker. A Rhode Island Democratic senator was arrested last week for allegedly keying the side of a car that had a bumper sticker he didn't like. The Democratic senator who has represented the Providence area since 2007 is charged with vandalism and malicious injury to property after a driver called police to report him as he ran a key along the side of the vehicle. (laughs) The damaged car's owner noticed a, a campaign sticker for the Democratic senator who was standing next to his car. So that's how he was identified. Oh, that's that's how we know that it's him. Uh, on a nearby car, I identified the Democrat as the suspect to police. So he keyed. This is a this is a Democratic state senator keyed a car. I mean, this is par for the course. How many people do you know? Like I have had through no fault of my own, ladies and gentlemen, around 10 friends who've disowned me because of the sin, because of the sin of choosing Trump over mashed potato brains two years ago, which I'll do again to like a year and a half from now in 2024, okay? The country is descending into like financial, foreign policy, turmoil, and madness. We are 90 seconds to midnight, according to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, directly because of Biden's foreign policy. That's another story, okay? Inflation through the roof. Real wages have been down pretty much all of this presidency. Real wages were up with Trump. But let's just focus on this, okay? If you're watching this segment, and in the comments section, you don't list any names, but you can, you know, provide your experience. Have you lost friends because... The wonderful, morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat couldn't had to purge all the supporters of Trump from his life or her life. Couldn't stand that you actually wanted a different foreign policy, a better foreign policy. The morality is with Trump, not with Democrats when it comes to foreign policy and economic policy. It is a moral choice to vote for Trump. It is immoral to vote for Democrats. When you look at the poverty has increased. With Democrats, crime, homelessness, all linked directly to Democratic Party policies. That's why Biden had to flood 200 million barrels of strategic petroleum reserves into the country. Again, we can go on forever. And if you don't understand how that is part of Biden's policies and that how that addressed the inflation that he ignored, that's another story altogether. So, and we, we had real wages up, real wages are down, 
Um, we had household median income at record highs with Trump. Every demographic group was making more money. Hit subscribe to this channel right now, by the way. To read my writing on The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications, go to hagoodman.com. Become a member to my members. Thank you. To my new Patreons, thank you. And to my super thanks, thank you very much. How many thanksgivings? I mean, just let's just look, think of the psychological profile, the emotional makeup, the, the, the person that does this, that keys a car. How many Thanksgivings, how many barbecues, how many, you know, New Year's Eve celebrations, how many birthday parties, how many get-togethers were ruined by the morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat who wouldn't stop condemning Trump and causing uh, like an argument or fight or dispute or endless debate that got emotional, that got into ad hominem attacks. How many times have you seen that during dinners where it's like, oh my God, why are we talking about this? Oh, that's right, because the highly educated liberal Democrat thinks it's a religion and they don't understand that their political side is filled with corruption. And so they think that they're so morally superior. You saw it with the Tim Pool debate recently. Tim Pool won on every major the person, one, the person, oh, I'm against censorship. It's not about censorship. Censorship is not being able to say what you want, not preventing people of a certain age looking at inappropriate material that you could look at when you're older. That's not, so see, they don't understand like the left or Democratic Party or today's left doesn't, they don't understand basic concepts. When you corner them, they then move the goalposts and then talk about something completely different. And it's like, they truly believe, Democrats truly believe that they're moral, they're morally superior, but they're actually not. The, if anything, the Democratic Party is morally inferior. They preside over poverty and then pontificate about equity. Their policies lead to greater poverty, homelessness, greater crime, more crime, higher crime rates inflation through the roof, an invasion in Europe, the Lincoln Project, the, 80, the, the, sorry, the early 2000s, Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld people are within the Democratic Party running things. The Democrats are the ones who would send Americans off to never run counterinsurgency conflicts within a second and then pontificate about the words you use. They're the ones who say Trump is mean and boorish and horrible Every single Democratic senator and congressperson who is, has a profile on Twitter has said the most disgusting things about Trump, okay? Comedians, there are people who've had his severed head, my God almighty, God forbid. I am that's okay on the left. No, that's, that's not a problem, okay? The most disgusting things, Robert De Niro goes and says, insults Trump, says F Trump to the um, to a, an awards ceremony, and that it, n nobody bats an eye. But Trump is the mean person. So he's the bully that all of them have to feel so good about themselves. He's not... If you're a morally superior liberal Democrat and you key a car like this Democratic senator allegedly did and got arrested for it, or you ruin a Thanksgiving dinner because of a debate about Trump, or you disown friends and family, or you... You're doing so because you're ignorant of all the corruption on your political side. You don't know about Hunter's laptop or Clinton's servers or any of those things. Or if you do know, you don't care and you don't know the intricacies of all of these felonies. Because ignorance is bliss and it makes you feel good. So most of these people, and I, atheists, I love like Christopher Hitchens is like an inspiration to me, although I believe in God. But Christopher Hitchens is an inspiration. I love Christopher Hitchens. But most of these people are atheists and their religion, or I should say a lot of these people are atheists, and their religion is politics, CNN, MSNBC, the Washington Post, their circle of friends. That's their religion. They worship it. And so to them, what happens on earth, if, if the New Yorker or the, or the Atlantic condones it, is their heaven. 
And so they see this as a religious pursuit, which is why they key cards. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now.